hi guys welcome back to my channel so that chicken i seasoned i actually going to make some pilau with some so i have my pot here on medium low heat and i'm going to add to that vegetable oil twist fine guys twist fine because the chicken will spring its own oil so twist fine to help bring that sugar and you don't have to use the oil if you don't want to right guys so let that heat up a bit before i put in my sugar so let's pour our one third cup of brown sugar let's spread that out nicely in the pot and we're going to leave this to brown or caramelize See, that's looking good. I'm gonna leave it to brown some more. When it start to get a little darker, a little darker brown, then I'll start to add my meat. And pilau with pilau, as you guys know, by now pilau is brown rice you can put any peas you want in it lentil you can do it with all the peas pigeon peas you name it guys and you can add any meat to your pillow your pillow color is up to you it can varies from light brown to deep brown it's up to you guys <laughs> And if you want to put in a little more sugar in your pilau, but you don't want to put in too much to let it, you know, be too sweet. And you don't want to burn it too much to let it bitter, right? So when that smoke keep coming out, that's when I like to add my meat. You see that steam? Yes. So this is good and I'm going to add my meat. And I'm using 14 pieces of chicken. I don't have a scale. So I'm going to cover this and let it, you know, brown for a few minutes. So let's mix that chicken after two minutes. Make sure it's brown nicely. And I have pigtail in here, chicken back, and drumstick. Okay, let's cover the pot. So after another two to three minutes, look at our meat. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to pour some hot water into my bowl. Get all that seasoning out of the bowl. And when you are cooking, make sure you have some hot water by the side to keep your pot going. So let's pour that in there now. Just enough to cook your meat. So we're going to leave that for a few minutes to boil and cook that meat before we add our peas and our rice. So let's check the pot 
been around 15 20 minutes it was boiling down I remember everything in here is easy to cook very easy to cook so what I'm going to do now I'm going to put in my wash rice I wash my rice three times and I'm using two cups of rice and that is parboil rice I like to use parboil rice And put some water and get out the rest. Rice out the pot. Give that a mix. And guys, I'm going to add some coconut milk to this. I'm going to add two quarter. You don't have to if you don't want to. I like to add some to mine, but not a lot. That's two quarter. Give that a mix. And we leave that to boil down. When it's close to boiling, I'm going to add my pigeon peas. I use the one in the tin since I don't have any tree here. Okay, guys? All right. So let me add my hot pepper. Don't let it boss in there, okay, guys? Don't let it boss. Because it will be extremely hot. So my meat is tender and nice. We're just going to boil this down. And you can play with the heat, you can check occasionally, see how your rice is going. You can increase, decrease the heat to know, you know. Check our pillow, see how the water boiling down. Yes, nice, nice. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add the pigeon peas. And I'm using the whole can. I'm going to mix that up. can taste your rice to know if you need a little more liquid and if it do you just add some nice warm water to it not too much and then salt you have to add a little salt and sprinkle your salt to know how much you like mix it up and taste and I put in the peas last because you know I use the tin peas and it is soft already so I didn't want it to mash up in the pot so when that finish boil down I'm finished okay let's check our pot mmm looking good and take the pepper out Guys, this is finished. This is finished. Yes. And you can always feel your rice to know if it's ready. I know some people like their rice a little bit soft in between. So this is good. This is good for me. So let me turn up the stove. And another thing, you can also cut up vegetables such as carrots or put a mixed vegetable in it if you want to. You can do that. And we normally eat this with a little coleslaw, cucumbers, avocado, you name it guys. Tomato, look at this. So beautiful. You can get a good look. So beautiful. So thank you for watching guys.